Here is a simple landing page I created using Webflow and I'm going to show you a breakdown of how I created these animations. I have here a simple container that contains a header and a paragraph. I also have the pictures that I have added inside the div block. Now we want the pictures to be on top of each other. So to do that, select the div block, go to position and change the position to relative. Then select each of the pictures and change their positions to absolute. If the position of the div block changes, just use a margin to adjust it. To choose which picture stays on top of the others, adjust it using this z index number the higher the number the more on top it stays now we can go to the interactions panel make sure to go down on the panel and change the version to interactions with gsap because that is what we are using for the animations then with the div block selected add a page load trigger and click a custom action click on the target option and make sure it is selecting the div block, change the scope to descendants and add an asterisk. This will make sure that everything contained in the div block is animated. Adjust the duration to about one second and make sure the from is checked and then change the scale from zero to one. Then we add the stagger effect, select it and change it to total time and make the total time about one second. We would also change the easing to power in and out, the load animation is sorted. Then next. To spread out the pictures, select each of the picture and add a custom action as well. Make the adjustments the same, but this time keep the duration to about 0.5 seconds. Ignore the scale, but this time we are going to change the move x from 0 and then you can adjust it to where you want the picture to end up when it is fully spread. Change the easing to power in and then repeat this action across the other pictures. You can also use the animation timeline to adjust where each of the animations will start. For the title, we would use the same effect, but this time we will animate the move and the opacity alone. The opacity has to go from 0 to 100 and we will be animating the move Y and it can go from any number you want to 0. Then we will add the stagger effect as well, but this time we will check split text and split by letter. This will make the letters appear a bit more individually. Apply the same effect to the paragraph but without the split text and here it is the full animation.